And we're back now with more from Attorney General William Barr. I want to ask you about some of the events of the week. Um, on Monday, Lafayette Park was cleared of protesters. You've spoken about this. Uh, the federal agents who were there report up to you. Did you think it was appropriate for them to use smoke bombs, tear gas, pepper balls, projectiles at what appeared to be peaceful protesters? They were not peaceful protesters, and that's one of the big lies that the, the media is, is, is seems to be perpetuating. Three of my CBS point. colleagues were there. We talked to yeah. them. They did not hear warnings. They did not see. There were the three warnings. There were three warnings anything. given. But but let's get back to why we took that action on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, there were uh, violent riots in, at Lafayette Park, where the park police run a constant attack at the, uh, behind their bike rack fences. On Sunday, things reached a crescendo. The officers were pummeled with bricks. Crowbars were used to pry up the, uh, the pavers at the park, and they were hurled at police. There were fires uh, set in not only St. John's Church, but a historic building at Lafayette was burned down. These were things that looters did. Not looters. These were these were the the, the violent rioters who were uh, dominated uh, Lafayette Park. But what I'm they broke about into the Treasury Monday, Department when it was I'm, a peaceful I'm, Let me let me get to this because this has been totally obscured by the media. They broke into the Treasury Department and uh, they were injuring police. Uh, that night, the Sunday park, night, Sunday night, the park police prepared a plan to clear 8th Street and put a, a larger perimeter around the White House so they could build a more permanent fence on Lafayette. This is something you approved on Sunday night? No. The park police on their own. On, on Sunday night, determined this was the proper approach. When I came in Monday, it was clear to me that we did have to increase the perimeter on that side of Lafayette Park and push it out one block. That decision was made by me in the morning. It was communicated to all the police agencies, including the Metropolitan Police, at 2 p.m. that day. The, the effort was to move the perimeter one block, and it had to be done when we had enough people in place to achieve that. And that decision, as I say, was communicated to the police at 2 p.m. The operation was run by the park police. Mm -hmm. The park police uh, was facing what they considered to be a very uh, rowdy and, and non-compliant crowd. And there were projectiles being hurled at the police. And at that point, it was not to respond. On Monday, you're saying there were projectiles. On Monday. Yes, because they were. As I'm saying, three of my colleagues were there. Yeah. They did not see projectiles being thrown. I was there. When I was happened. there. They were thrown. I saw them thrown. And you believe that what the park police did using tear gas and projectiles was appropriate? Here, here's what the media is missing. This was not an operation to respond to that particular crowd. It was an operation to move the perimeter one block. And the methods they used you think were appropriate? Is when that what they you're met saying? resistance, yes. They announced three times they didn't move. By the way, there was no tear gas used. The tear gas was used Sunday when they had to clear 8th Street to allow the fire department to come in to save St. John's Church. That's when tear gas was used. There were it, chemical irritants, the part. No, there were not chemical so. irritants. Pepper spray is not a chemical irritant. It's not chemical. Pepper spray, you're the saying, is what balls, was used. Pepper balls. Right. And you believe that was appropriate. What I want to show you is what... A lot of people at home who were watching this on television saw and their perception of events. I want you to see what the public at home saw. The president of law and order and an ally of all peaceful protesters. But in recent days, our nation has been gripped by professional anarchists, violent mobs, arsonists, looters, criminals, rioters, Antifa, and others. A number of state and local governments. So while the president is saying that he appreciates peaceful protests, 
innocent people have been savagely beaten. Around the same time. Like the young man. Well, six minutes, six minutes difference. Right. right. Yeah. Around the same time. The area is being cleared of what appear to be peaceful protesters using some force. And after the speech is finished, the president then walks out of the White House to the same area where the protesters had been and stands for a photo op in front of the church where the protesters had been. These events look very connected to people at home. In an environment where the broader debate is about heavy-handed use of force and law enforcement, was that the right message for Americans to be receiving? Well, the message is sometimes communicated by the media. I didn't see any uh, video being played on the media of what was happening Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But, all, but I, all, I heard was, all I heard was comments about how peaceful the protesters were. I didn't hear about the fact that there were 150 law enforcement smoke officers injured and many taken to the hospital with concussions. Uh, so uh, it wasn't a peaceful protest. We had to get control over Lafayette Park, and we had to do it as as soon as we were able to do that. But uh, you understand how these events appear connected. The well, it's the job of this. the media to tell the truth. They were not Well, this connected. is what I'm asking you. Did you know when you gave the green light for these actions to be taken that the president was going to be going to that very same area for a photo op? I gave the green light at 2 o'clock. Obviously, I didn't know that the president was going to be speaking later that day. You had no idea? No, but no I did not. Do you the go-ahead was given at 2 o'clock and to do it as soon as we were able to do it, to move the perimeter from, from H Street to I Street. We're both Catholic. I know you're observant. You're a devout Catholic. Archbishop Gray.